Map Reading 5 Contours and Relief As a soldier, you'll need to have the ability to relate the map to the ground in front of you. It's essential that you're able to use contours to identify types of slopes and specific relief features. The brown lines that you find on maps are called contours or contour lines. After studying the map, it will reveal both the shape and the slope of the ground. The distance in height between each line can be found as the vertical interval in the margin. Although all contours are not numbered, every five contour lines you will find an index contour, which will be a thicker brown line. This will read the height above sea level and used in conjunction with the vertical interval will allow you to work out the remaining heights. Even slope, concave slope, convex slope, irregular slope, cliffs. Here is a list of the slopes you will have covered during the map reading lesson. During this video, we will revisit two of them. At the bottom of the hill, the contours are relatively spaced out. As you move up the hill, the contours get closer together, meaning the ground is becoming steeper. From looking at the shape of the slope, you can see it is a hollow or concave, and that is therefore known as a concave slope. To remember this more easily, remember that a concave slope caves in. If you look at the slope, you will see the contour lines start closer together at the bottom, indicating a steeper gradient to the slope and get further apart as you move up the hill. The shape of this slope produces a hump-like line and is called a convex slope. Hill, ridge, spur, valley, re-entrant, saddle, plain or plateau. Just as the contour spacing shows the slope of the ground, the shape of the contours also helps identify relief features. Here is a list of the relief features we covered in the lesson, and for the purpose of this video, we will revisit two. A valley is a low area between hills, often with a water feature running through it. The key contour pattern of a valley is a series of V or U-shaped contours with the bends in the lines pointing uphill and the lower contour values in the middle. A re-entrant is the term used for a small valley which is on the side of a much larger feature. On the ground it shows as a depression in the slope, whereas on a map it shows as an indentation or a kink in a contour pattern. The key contour pattern is a V or a U, as with a valley, however as the drawing shows it's much smaller.